paglaban kami, babagsak ang ekonomiya. Paano namin mapapakain ang aming mga pamilya? Negosyo o kalayaan, bayan o sarili, pumili ka! Wired on the mic and then Chucky on the beat Inspired and we fight anybody with the heat Killing in these streets, ain't nobody want this beef And we passion on the mic, do not tell me we are weak Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Kesho Chuck A Pinoy from the start My stories, they can spark and destroy what you lack You annoyed, you attract with your boy Ain't nobody gonna track me and Jay Wyatt make some noise Hit them with the culture, ain't nobody here a vulture Bringing people joy, we ain't here to insult you We a soldier in the game, you will never be the same And my whole cock, they all feel a pride all the way To the sun and the three stars, nigga lang ang mala, all we need Are some sick bars Learning from the foreign number love And some battle scars Life's full of twists Like a wheel of a fast car Of a fast car This is history Sucking dome and tataka We're here to have fun Spreading music from afar We all laugh and we spark It's all love from the heart Filipino with the bars I'm in high to the stars We get drums and the bass And the voice and guitar Walang beef, walang case Walang drugs, a cigar Are you mad? We injure? Are you sad? We are cure Just loving all the culture We go flashing that for sure Are we live? I think we're live. All right. Uh, are we guys live already? Yeah, What I'm sitting there waiting. Uh, you were like muted. I'm like, we're live. And I'm like, okay, I'll wait for Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is awkward. So sorry. We haven't done this for a while. So I think we're, we're rusty. Live, so... Yeah, we're kind of. I mean, I think it's kind of my fault, but. What is up, guys? This is it's your boy Chuck and your boy Jay Wyatt, everybody's favorite Aussie reactor. Welcome to another episode of Culture Clash. All right, so today is going to be a special day. We haven't done Culture Clash for oh, two weeks, I guess. And it's today is minute. one of it's been a hot minute for sure. It's uh, we have a guest that has been so well requested by the people. Uh, who is this guest, Jay? This guest is none other than Pablo. No, just kidding, not Pablo. It is local band Smoke Out. <laughs> let's go, BG. Yes! BG, let's go. Thank you guys for having me. I, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. It is this, all good, my friend. This is so cool, man. man. Yeah, I, see, I see you got some ink over here, dude. I didn't catch that uh, in, in the early part. Yeah. <laughs> Let's What go. That look like to you? Yeah. That is nice. That is nice. I got some more ink here. Got some more uh, ink here, ink here. Ink. I, I like my ink, all right? I like my ink. Nice. I want to get more. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so today, guys, is going to be the day you will get to know BG in a more deeper level. So I'm Ball sure it's going go. to be, yeah, most deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I have put in a poll here on the chat to get to know BJ more. So the question here is: BG has been doing local band smoke up, smoke out for how long? Ninety uh, percent of the people said one year 34 of the people said 10 years but 47 of them said three years but how long has it been really bg over 10 years That's over so 10 years i've been doing reactions uh it oh, started man. off as mostly being wow. only local bands um bands that were right. you know mostly from california that nobody knew about and, and then it just kind of expanded 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 And I probably did 3,000 reactions for local bands before I ever did like my first big time uh, band, which was a Ramstein song. That explains Someone, the name, local band smoke out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it was called that in the beginning. All right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, so have you been doing YouTube ever since, or did you have a different platform back then? Um, like, I think you had a show yeah. from Twitch, but I'm not so sure. Can you confirm that? Yeah, we, we do have a daily Twitch show that we do five times a week, Monday through Friday. Uh, it's at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time, which for you guys would be, I think, like two in the morning-ish. Something like that. Something, something like hour. that. <laughs> um, but it's three hours a day, and anyone can request any any genre band, any any artist. doesn't matter if they're small or big. We jam it right, all. Right. Um, but yeah, always, always YouTube, but it wasn't always reactions and stuff. It was uh, some of my own old band content and i used to make beats and oh. stuff 
I like the intro song, by the way. That was you <laughs> rapping today? That's me rapping. Yeah. And, yeah, and me Chucky rapping. on the beat. Yeah, I heard Chucky on the beat. <laughs> yes, yeah, Chucky on that beat. You know it. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I did say I could rap. That. <laughs> that was something fun, something fun we did for the show. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, so ten years. So basically, local time. bands smokeout is it's it initially has been uh, for checking out local bands, and it just expanded and expanded and expanded. And there you are That's now. Love. That is love for sure. I mean, giving still, chances still, to yeah, local bands on the regular, on the regular though. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so you also mentioned earlier that you were uh, you were doing some old local uh, old ba old content from your own band from before, right? So Jay, right. can you take That's a look a at nice this segue this... into the next yeah. question? Yeah. So BG used to actually be in a band called uh, I think is that H I T M hit him yeah. something like or that. It's, 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 it's hit him. It's hit him. A it's it's hit him. Okay. History and making was option one. Uh, okay, and then what's the other choices? Joint uh, venture, double helix, X tasty. Uh, the choices and uh, most people actually <laughs> say so. We got the uh, twenty eight percent said uh, HITM, thirty percent said joint venture, thirty five percent said double helix, and only seven percent said X tasty. Can you reveal it, BG? It is I think it's ecstasy, but that is not the answer. Uh, it was hit him. Oh my I god, ecstasy! I said, <laughs> I was laughing at that, but yeah, I kind of gave it away too. By by right before we we set all the bands, I kind of gave it away. You yeah, always did, bit. but uh, it's and hit him, uh, hit him, hit him. Right? That's a right. really catchy That's name. And that when is. you said that it also means history in the making, it's hit That's making awesome. or something too. That's really cool. So. Wow. Okay. So you were in a band. You also perform. And um, how was it? Like, um, can you tell us more about that history part of yours? Surely you've had some shows as well. A lot of shows. Uh, that wasn't the only band I was in, but this was this was a long time ago. Uh, this would have oh, been. I think, we, I think we broke up like twelve or thirteen years ago. Um, oh, okay. It was a while. We were like a we were like a rock hip hop project. If you type. H I T M. Uh, all I do is party or H I T M. These halls are full. You should see some music videos pop right up on YouTube. So. Oh, okay. Ooh, now that I mentioned okay. that, I actually kind of found some footage that you oh. actually sent me. You actually sent me one, but I found I wanted to show two. Um, these songs are copyrighted, so you have a music label, which is yeah, that means you, you were kind of big back then so I, I i need to do some tweaking to like avoid copyright so let's go key big this. low key big shot over here <laughs> yeah big shot big time bg right here so let's see yeah, here. <laughs> okay here we go guys let's check this out this is pretty fun is that young bg <laughs> it is Yo, holy Bro, shit, that's screamo. I, I couldn't <laughs> do that for the life of me. That is Was that you screaming, DG? That that was me. Holy yeah. shit. That the eyeliner long hair, the long hair and everything. Damn. Damn. Rough days. You, nah. <laughs> you look so cool, man. Okay. There's more. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> <Looks so good. laughs> Yo, this is awesome. Okay, so <laughs> thank that you. So that was intense. And um, growing up as a kid, you know, teenager, I listened to Linkin Park, Corn, POD, and this reminds me a That's lot of that. The way you like um, sing, man. So wow, I mean, that's that's amazing, dude. Um, Some, yeah, just I appreciate much, it. much love. I'm, 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 I'm an instant right fan. Yeah, same. That, Very that, kind of you to say. Awesome. I appreciate it. 
But yeah, just uh, no more band life for me. Uh, I have more fun telling people about cool bands that I find. Nice. Right, right. Okay. Right. Is there a reason for that though? Like, the, you're not into it anymore, or we, I just committed so long to to two different bands, and uh, the the band we were in before before hit them actually was on MTV for a while, and then oh, we all started shit. we all started to like not get along. So some of us formed hit them, and then we did that for a couple of years, and then just decided right. it was time to try something else. Okay, sure gotcha. enough. Okay, well, uh, in life there are stages, right? And you kind of yeah. figure out what you want to do with it, and what, and especially what makes you more happy in doing something, right? So, right. thank you for sharing that. But man, that's some talent right there. Man, that's so cool. Thank you for sharing that. It. Okay, so um, you just made my you rap talent look like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, bro. I mean, so talented right here. Yeah. Uh, Every guest in Culture Clash, they tend to be a very talented, talented individuals. So, so yeah, I mean, I'm just an instant fan right here. And uh, so, but do you still sing, you know, from time to time, you know, if you're bored or something like that, do you still like do that screaming and stuff? Not really so much anymore, no. Okay. Oh, it's, I have, I have two, two young ones, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to get uh -huh. them into it now. Okay. Right, right. Can you still do that screaming though, or is it like you can't do it anymore? <laughs> Come on, I'm Kevin, no, I kind of, I kind of can't really do it that well anymore, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. right. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm... if you listen to it, it, it seems to be putting a lot of pressure in your oh, vocal yeah. cords, right? If so... you do it wrong, you can really damage your vocal cords. Mm. Okay, so. I put another poll here to get to know you better by the audience. I I said, BG's most emotional as Benetton reaction is uh, blank. So 2% of the people said, Wabung ikunot an yung noo. Okay. 4% okay. said, Tila Luha. 9% said, Crimson. 84% said, Ilao. So I think I saw it in one of my reaction sessions. But um, can you reveal the answer, BG? It was uh, it was Ila Ila that one for sure. Uh, <laughs> I watched yeah. your reaction to my reaction too, and it was making me laugh. They did. That, that one was <laughs> rough, man. I don't know why, but that song, like when I when I was reading the lyrics while hearing that for the first time, I was yeah. having like a really rough week, and it just like it's one of those times where one of those songs just like you just resonate with it, and right. it just it just hits you, and. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just got all choked up and started talking about like personal stuff in the video, and that yeah. out came the tissues and the tears. I didn't oh, expect man. that, man, because I was like, I was reacting to it myself on a reaction uh, session or live. Um, the chat just kept saying like, "Yo, you have to check out local bands, smoke out." I'm like, "Okay, okay, we'll get that. We'll got it to it last." And then like, uh, everyone, yeah, this part. <laughs> yeah. It just, it came out of nowhere. I was like, shit, man, I just felt for you. And then that's when I told I told Chuck, I'm like, yeah, we got to get him on, man. We 100% got to get him on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you said Look you at that baby cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, real men cry, dude. Real I, men I, do I, cry. I, it's true. Yeah, I do, right. yeah, I do appreciate people sorry, showing guys. their... Show, showing their emotions, you know. Um, so you didn't really talk about the personal stuff, I and mean, you were just like saying to think you're just thanking Espen and Teen and then saying, yeah. telling people to support them. But you know, can you share share a little bit of, of what what has been going on? Like, I mean, it's, it's okay if you don't want no to. No pressure, nothing forced. Uh, I I honestly don't recall exactly what was going on at that time, but um. It was just everybody goes through ups and downs, man, and, and right. it was just one of those down times. But life is good. Like, I'm very, I'm very happy person. It's just, it was just a bad week. I don't remember I exactly it. why, but uh, it was just one of those songs that, like, lyrically, it just like hit me. And uh, feel that, feel that. There they came. Yeah. <laughs> there came you got sure. me emotional, man. <laughs> <laughs> It can, it is contagious sometimes. And when you see someone cry, I mean, you just feel it too. And I can time. feel how heavy it's been for you. So um, it just goes to show that that song, Ila, is so relatable to many people. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 
Okay, so um, those are the polls, uh, guys, and you got to know uh, BG here a little bit more. So uh, before we go to the interview questions, uh, we want to do a little bit of a warm up here um, because uh, BG right here has not been has not really dug deep to SB19 just yet. So I'm gonna play a little game with him called Guess the SB19 Emoji. So this I'm gonna show some emojis, and he's gonna guess if. If it's, you know, which SBNT member is it or which song is it? BG here has reacted to over 120 um, cool. SBNT videos. It's crazy. I saw his playlist, 123 videos exactly. Oh, damn. Competing with me. Damn. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Some of I them got 126. Been... You're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So let's do this game, guys. Let me just pull it up here real quick. Give me a few seconds. Okay. All right. Let's Shout go. out to all 200 of you in the chat, by the way. I appreciate you guys Shout talking about Absolutely. It's the afternoon, and we don't really get that much viewers around the afternoon, but 200, exactly. that's a lot of that's people already. So shout 100%. out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys watching. Okay, let's see here. Okay, one more sec, guys. Bear with Guess me. that SB19 emoji. Let's get it. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. So, a ghost yeah. in and Okay. My bad. Are we just supposed to just blurt it as soon as we know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You can, if you want, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, what do you think what this is one it, is? Bro? Oh, I, I, my bad. Get up. Get up or... Get up or, or something else up. Uh, go up, go up, go up. There you, there you go. I said get up twice. I said get up twice. <laughs> All right, you did it, man. I'll take Wait. that. Yeah, it still counts. Mm -hmm. How about this, oh, this one? Easy one. Gento? Mm. Okay. Ooh, are you sure? Why Gento? Because it looks like the music video where there looks like like a rock digging site or something. You're right. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Right. That's right. right. <laughs> oh, oh. Right here. oh, and then Ken's got the yeah, he's got the the little pickaxe in his hand. Pickaxe. Yeah, they were mining and all that, right? So this one is kind of tricky. Might but... be tricky. Okay. Sam. Freedom, Uncle maybe. Sam. Mm. What what is Uncle Sam saying? Actually. Thing? That answer right, yeah. that answer makes sense actually, but it's not freedom. It's yeah. uh, it's more about what he says here in this poster. Uh, that relates to an SB19 song. <clears throat> no more hints. <laughs> I don't remember what's on the poster. That's the thing. Yeah. I, he wants oh, right, you to right. join the army. Yeah. So who does he want? So who does he want? Who does he want? Where are you at, maybe? Wyatt? Okay. Well, that's okay. I'm going to give that's it to you right. still. Because you, you <laughs> gave some answers that make sense. But it says, well, I want you. So I want you in the army. That's right? That's I what Uncle Sam says. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that's fine. No worries. Not it bad. It was a tricky one. Okay. Okay, it's this one. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this one should be. Blue yeah. explosion gas. Boom. Gas. gas. It's the hint. Uh, <laughs> I, I think in one of their songs they were talking about gasolina, right? No, gasolina. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. You reckon? Okay, wait. You are right. There we go. Okay. Nice chat one. Help, chat, help me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no kidding. Just kidding. You can, you can look. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. The chat is actually kind of divided too. Uh, some are yeah. saying uh, Gento, Bazinga, Mappa, even. So this one, which one? Yeah, that's that's got to be Mappa. Oh, let's see. It's a map. That's, that's that's a gimme. I think. Yeah, it's oh, kind yeah, of a gimme. That, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mappa. All right. Great Ooh. song right there. Okay, next one. But I think. Okay. This one is an SB19 member, and I think I would understand. You don't. You won't understand. I know it. Yet. I know it because I am Estelle Berry. Ah, oh, okay. okay. You got a still in your house. house. So this is still. all right. Still, that's I right. Didn't realize you're a That's awesome. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of unexpected. He comes off like a Ken guy or something. Like no, hundred percent, because like the rock star <laughs> type vibe. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that new dude, the new Philippe song is probably one of my favorites right now. Fake face. Is oh, hundred percent. It is <laughs> remix coming out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, next one. Oh, this one is kind of tricky. Chicken. Chicken. This. <clears throat> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. So there's there's only okay. So it's but it's only members. It's not any songs at this point. Yeah, it's so just. I'm going through the members. I'm going through like songs and stuff too in my head. I'm like. Nah, it's just members, really. This one's a member. This okay. one's a member. Chick Ken. Yeah, so, Chicken. So this is Ken. Oh, wow. Uh, what is, um, what is it? That? Yeah, yeah right. right. That's right. Thanks. Absolutely. So Ken's fans are called chickens or chicks or CCs it's in Tagalog. Really... So, yeah. yeah. All right. Next one. Oh, okay. This Barbecue. Is... This is kind of tricky. If you don't know, you don't know. So that's fine. You can check the uh, chat. Uh... Well, there's only three members left, so it's one out of three. Yeah, process of elimination here. <laughs> one, one out of three chance. Just guess it. <laughs> Without looking at that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Josh. All right. Let's see if you're right. My guess. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, I'm right. Okay. Because right, it's, right, it's right, me. Yeah. And for some reason, I think of Wild Tonight and Vampires. And I thought maybe Vampires and Me. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes okay. sense. All right, Josh's I, fan base is called BBQs or barbecues, so yeah, uh, and also it's a wordplay to my babies, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was looking handsome as ever. Oh god, this is easy. My boy, this is my bias. I hope you mm. don't know my bias now. <laughs> so it's either Pablo or Justin, and I, I don't, I don't know what the cold emoji has to do with either one of them, so I don't know the answer. That's okay. That's oh, that's, that's okay. absolutely that's okay. fine. Uh, you can just take a guess, and um, yeah, we'll not take it against you. It's totally understandable. Uh, Pablo, because there's blue fire in in the Terminato music video. Okay, Ooh, I like how you like, that. I like how you did that. Okay, all right. Let's see. Thinking outside the box, you are correct. This is yeah. My boy, my pokey Pablo. Yeah. That's Pablo right there. Um, his fan base house is called the Freezer, and then the yeah. fans are called Hot Dogs. Hot Dogs, so, yeah. Hot, yeah. Dogs. Hot Dog in the Freezer. And Chicks, only... Chicks is the best one so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this no, one, Hot Dogs are. <laughs> so by process elimination, it's got to be Justin. But they just. Mm -hmm. Justin likes to do corny jokes, corny dad jokes joke. a lot. Yeah. And yeah, Justin is the. Yeah, the, the leader of the corns, the cornfield. The so corn that's field, Justin. He's super corny. <laughs> <laughs> the corn, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, this is a, li a bit harder. Uh, probably a lot harder. Yeah, Um. this is just a, a bonus um, question, really. I mean, uh, I, I would totally understand if you wouldn't uh, guess this correctly. So okay, it's okay. also. I, I think I know the top one, which is. Asus, A S U S. No, it's the other computer company, right? That no, uh, they... Android or it is Android, Android and Android Apple. Apple. So he does not prefer Android and Apple. He prefers banana. banana. So this Just is banana. yeah. How does this? Who's who is the S B N T member who thinks like this? Is basically the question. So you can guess. Huh. I was trying to guess the the computer company that they did like a song for. Uh, oh, that's Acer. Acer. Yeah. Acer. Yeah, I said Acer. 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 Uh, right, who is this member? That thing's like this. Ken. Ken. Okay. Ken, what, do you, what do you say, Ken? What, what, what I do don't know. Say, I'm, I have no just, idea. I'm just, I'm just taking a random guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair okay. Fair enough. That's all right. Apple or Android? <gasps> Android. <laughs> well, if personally, personally. Okay, here. Apple. Apple. I have Boo. both, but I'm enjoying Apple right now. Okay, why do you like Apple? I feel like it's more um, simple. It's not user friendly. Why? Why do you think? I couldn't even Android save my music in way. Apple. You know. I love banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was still. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Favorite fruit? Yeah. That was still. <laughs> so that was 
that was Stell uh, who who did that. So that is how Stell is. He really likes to joke around and, and you know, play play with people. So they were asked if you know which phone operating system you prefer, Android or you know uh, Apple. Stell would just say banana. So yeah, mm -hmm. funny guy. <laughs> so that was it right there. We got a little bit of a warm up um, about us being in teen. So we go head to our interview. Our interview. So, Jay. So this wasn't the interview yet. So now we're officially starting the interview. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. The personal interview, we are starting. And for some reason, everybody in chat likes to get really personal and go too deep in people's lives. You guys are stalkers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But they want to know your age and your height. You don't have to explain. You don't have to say how old you are, your height, if you don't want to. But how old is BG of local bands back up? I am okay. 39 and I am six foot one. Oh, you're wow. a big boy. Wow, big boy for <laughs> sure. The tallest one we got so far, I guess. 100%. As far as I remember. <laughs> Damn. Now six one. Cool. You're it's making Chuck feel like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only five six, dude. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. At okay. 39, I, I would have guessed like 31, maybe just turning 30, to be honest. I'll take That's it. True. I appreciate it. I feel good. Very really young. So yeah. Really you're young only as old looking. as you feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure for sure okay someone just so asked what's what's your body count don't answer that please oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that? someone asked that <laughs> come on Kate, uh, shut up. Kate, okay uh, relax <laughs> all right so let's talk about favorites what's your favorite like let's let's go ahead with movies first uh, do you, are you a movie person do you like watching movies or anything you can think of I love movies. Uh, my favorite movie easily is Braveheart. I love Braveheart with Ooh, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. That movie's amazing. Um, my favorite TV show, this is a really hard one, but I think it's going to be Lost, the TV show oh, Lost. Oh, that oh, really? That one with the island. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but it I, got I, me I feeling that. lost at the end of it, but uh, it's a good show. Yeah. <laughs> it, it kept the dragging on for me, though. The ending's <laughs> rough, but... Yeah, yeah, it was it, so good at, at the start. The first three, four seasons, it was so so good. But um, it was you know, but it's still a good show overall. I guess it's very interesting, full of twists and turns and mystery. Yeah, right. uh, uh, music wise, I mean, I listen to everything, but I'm I'm a metalhead at heart. Uh, I do right. enjoy my my heavy music, but I prefer stuff that has right. like singing and screaming simultaneously. And then oh, food, right. food wise, uh, I love. Buffalo wings and hot sauce. Ooh. Buffalo wings That's, and hot sauce. I love that, dude. These is these are addicting. Those are so um, good. Yeah. Yo, I've been ordering these recently. So, wow. Okay. I love me my chicken. <laughs> Great choices <laughs> right there. Okay. So, um, breathe for it. Okay. So. That's it right here. So before we go ahead and head to our SB19 related uh, questions, let's go ahead and watch this video real quick so that um, BG will get to know SB19 a little more. This video is called SB19 Superlatives. So basically, they are going to uh, um, show who is the uh, most romantic, who takes the most selfies and all that. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. All right. Go. First person to hit the dance floor. Okay, let's this get will back. be unanimous decision. Three, two, one. Ding, 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 Who takes the longest to get ready? Longest, longest to get All ready. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Who's the answer? Yeah. Me? Definitely <laughs> can. Oh. One, but he, he woke up late. Uh, yeah. why. And he but keeps still on up. changing nah, his clothes. No, the drip is important, that's why. Yeah, yeah the drip. <laughs> <laughs> the top. Okay. Gotta have that good drip. One, oh, one, one point over two. Okay. Okay. One point for me. All right, let's go. Next one. Who takes the most selfies? I'll be Josh, I think. Uh, I'd Josh? say still Josh and Stella, I think. I, I think don't it's even still. post a lot of pictures. Maybe who has the most? I see still posting month? so if it's many. About posting, then I'll be honest. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
because I love to take pictures. Instagram's of full, places. full of yeah. stale pics. Yeah. yeah. No, you're beautiful. <laughs> no, and you're because I need, I need to promote something. That's oh. why. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I'm promoting. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, I'm promoting my my show. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And it's still, it's still them. Yeah. Who's the best at keeping a secret? All right, I'll let you guess, BG. Like, um, just your in first impression off of the members. Who, who, who is just uh, the best uh, keeping a secret? Is my guess. Justin. Yeah. Okay, let's see if you're right. Wow, <laughs> you got that quickly. Yeah, so myself, a, myself. Maybe, uh, Justin. Yeah, yeah you're actually right, dude. Yeah, I think he keeps a lot of secrets. I don't know why I thought that. I just seemed like he was horrible at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Justin does a lot behind the scenes, so it's it yeah. makes sense that he gives a lot of secrets. So yeah, Only and Pablo is a spoiler. Know, secrets, <laughs> but, <laughs> honest, secrets. but I in, know all of his secrets. In our group, he is the pure boy. Pure boy. Pure boy, but <laughs> because he's the most. But in reality, <laughs> secretive, secretive. Mm. He, he, mm. Just <laughs> lot of he just doesn't say mm. it. That's why he's. <laughs> he's got that. Yeah. Who takes the longest to text back? This will be unanimous decision. Uh, who do you think it is? Ken. Longest to text. Ken. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, he's yeah. focused on his. <laughs> <laughs> he's too busy getting ready. He can't text back. I'm yeah. the <laughs> I'm at the top. Always at the top. <laughs> Who's the best cook? Ooh, who do you All think? Right, so, um, this time I'm going to guess Pablo. Pablo, I feel okay. like he'll be a good cook. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure he does cook. He does cook. Yeah, John Cook. <laughs> John Cook. Day Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, Why not answer yeah. of course, yeah, Stella? Why really <laughs> 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 not answer Stella? Why 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 not answer Stella? Show break still that one of the cooking show break still was really good. So yeah, he studied cooking uh, in college. That's why. Right, but, right. Yeah, Pablo does cook too. Uh, he went to a culinary school. Huh? Sorry. He went to a culinary school or. Yeah, something like that. Hotel and restaurant management. So they did a lot of cooking. So yeah. You choose me, so that uh... I need, I need to choose other members. So I so I be you know humble. Who's the most athletic? Really quick, can I answer something in chat real quick? Absolutely. Somebody in chat wants to know uh, my favorite metal bands, uh, Michael De La Cruz. Uh, that would be Periphery. Periphery is my favorite metal band. I've seen them live a bunch of times, but I just wanted to answer that. Periphery. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't think I've what? heard of Periphery. I actually haven't too. Interesting. Um, right there. I've okay. Quite a, quite a few bands. Do you, do you, do you know uh, Pierce the Veil? Absolutely. I've seen them live. That's one. Oh shit! That's like one of the one of my favorite bands that I've heard. Like, cause I'm more of a hip hop head, but when it comes to bands, like I really love Pierce the Veil. Okay. I don't. Cool. I I don't even know if I'm spelling it right. Is this right? This yeah, one. Yeah, the one. Yeah, that's them right there. So if you look up a song called Wildfire, I know you probably can't play it live right now, but uh, uh a song called Wildfire is really good. Uh, okay. They have, they have a bunch of jams. It's it's nice. mostly screaming, but there's a lot of singing too. And it's progressive. Nice. All right, thank you for answering that, man. Okay, that's awesome. If at, if at any point you ever want to answer anything in chat, uh, you don't need to ask. It's always totally okay. Just let gotcha. me know. <laughs> okay, where were we? Um, let's see here. And there, best cook. Best cook, yep. Yeah. Oh, who's the most athletic? Okay, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's Ken. Run. Run. Especially like, in his know, latest music video, away. run! Yeah, he's running. <laughs> Who spends the most time that on that dude can run? Oh, that's Stell because of all the selfies. The no? Pablo. Oh, Josh because he's yeah. Gone. Because most of the time you use your phone because you're working with music. No, no, no not that one. I was gonna guess Pablo. That's Josh. I think it's True. Josh. You said it's, you think it's Josh? I think it's yeah. me. I was saying Stell because he <laughs> takes so many selfies. <laughs> Who's the most romantic? Oh. oh, who do you think is most romantic? The most romantic? My Pablo. Yeah. I feel like Pablo. Josh. Right? No? Okay. Josh? Okay. Josh. Oh, Justin. Romantic. Justin. Romantic. 
Go. Oh, oh, yeah, oh my god, I got a I, I answered Josh. Oh, oh. I answered Josh. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I took my answer. I mean, yeah, of course. Oh, we love them. Perfect, Pablo. I was yeah. a romantic guy, didn't I? Just because, um, <laughs> because last time when we were in Chicago, he asked me to teach him how to, you know, to say good things to our fans, like how to... Oh. That's why I chose them, yeah. because why? That's we're good at fan service. No. <laughs> I'll be with you. When, we, when we're doing TikTok Live, he's like um, doing his like punchline to our fans, like sweet ones, like that. And he's good at that right now. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> hey! hey. Pablo is the most romantic too, Who in my opinion. is the most likely to get emotional oh, during a movie? Okay. Oh. Who cries a lot, basically? Oh, they all cry, right? Oh, who's Justin. the most emotional? Justin. Oh, re really? Okay. <laughs> that is a surprise right there. Okay. I reckon I was gonna say yeah. still, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> still. Was Pablo too. Yeah, it's actually still. He like really easily cries when something sad happens. So Back, yeah. Same here. I'm sensitive. And... <laughs> oh, don't it's okay to be sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensitive. He needs and, some milk. Yeah, I'm. He relates a lot. <laughs> he easily relates to things and yeah. stories. Yeah. Who was the first person to hit the dance floor? Uh, Did we already do that one? I'll be... That was Ken, right? Mm, let's see. No. Uh. What the hell? They're all divided. Play music right now. I think it's I, Josh. Did he get hyped? Yeah. yeah. When he get hyped, uh, no! he will dance immediately and you yeah, can do that backflip. Okay, I'm gonna Probably change my mind. Pablo's a clean yeah. runner. Try oh. playing music Just right now, he'll we'll be hyped Please up. stop it. Play <laughs> <laughs> music right now and we will hype him. I'm Which is just my initials. <laughs> He's getting embarrassed. Huh? Uh, if everyone keeps asking what BG stands for, it's just my initials. Oh, yeah, right, right, uh, right. Can you tell us what the initials are for, BG? Yeah, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's Brandon Gray. But like literally nobody, oh, right. nobody calls me that. Everyone calls me BG. Like even my dad yeah. calls me. That is I a cool a, name, though. I have a cousin named Brandon. That's that's what's oh. up. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think we're Josh. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just because of the lifestyle. Because yeah, so like my family, <laughs> my friends loves you know like Damn. dancing and stuff. Who is having the best time on tour? Everybody. I Pablo. think everyone. I think <laughs> yeah. everyone. Oh, yeah. You have the same answer? Yeah. You just oh, oh, I think everyone. Oh, you know, having the, the best, best Yeah, one. I think it's Stella. I think it's, it's Stella, Stella or Justin. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. taking pictures of the scenery. When we visit uh, <laughs> stockyards, it's about, all about the experience and to try the culture. You gotta and make those memories. Some of them, you know? like, they bought some cowboy hats and mm -hmm. cowboy boots. Yeah, I enjoyed stockyards. And of, and of course, Napa Valley. We went to Napa Valley. And then we had a in California and, and drank some wine. Justin mm -hmm. with the nice camera. Shopping, right? <laughs> yeah. You right should there. catch them in one of their concerts. I think they're coming back soon in the US. So yeah, man. What, have, yeah, you do you know when do you know when that is? Nah, they haven't announced anything in California just yet, but maybe sometime later this year, maybe last quarter of this year, I think. Or I'll, be year. I'll be there. I'll be there. New era. When a new <laughs> era pops off. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did this to shop. Disneyland actually this yeah, year this was Disneyland. really amazing. Hi everyone! Disneyland! Oh. Justin and Pablo, you only got one. Oh. Justin is the best at keeping a secret, and Pablo is the most romantic. Wow. Sample. Wow. Sample. They only got one of <laughs> each. <laughs> Josh has two. He spends the most I'll let Pablo phone. take me out on a day. And he is mm -hmm. the first person to hit the dance floor. Wow. And then, Sel, you take the most selfies. You're the best cook. Wow. And you're most likely to get emotional during the And then, Ken, longest to get ready, longest to text back, <laughs> longest to text back. and the most athletic. Oh. At least, at least, at least there was a good day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Was a good day. Positive. Ken, reply one to your positive. messages, man. Yeah, that's, everybody. Positive. that's a good <laughs> but job. But I think that's just right. Your mother's asking it's you where you are. Just fits right <laughs> Amazing. All right. So we just got uh, to know Espinity a little bit more, especially BG right there through that uh, little video. And now we are yeah, going boy. to head to our interview. So... Uh, um, BG. related interviews. 
Exactly. Your genre of music is relatively far from what SB19 do. do. So how did they end up in your radar? I'm kind of curious to yeah. know. I remember Gento was the first song I heard. And oh, is that I right? Think I I think oh. it's because um, every every band that I do a reaction for, I, I sub to their channel, and I've done about seven thousand reactions. So my algorithm is for YouTube is like insane. So I, so I sub I to like imagine. every channel I've done a reaction for, and that's how it tells me when I go back to them. Uh, I might not remember if I ever done one before, and it just if I see right. that I'm subbed, I've been there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It just popped up, and I was like, oh, what is this? And clicked it, and then immediately was sucked in and then i heard crimson shortly after that and that's Ooh. my favorite song by them but uh crimson drip, yeah. drip, drip. i saw your top what? 10 song video i loved it nice taste thank you what, 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 is there any details on them ever coming out with a music video for that one i don't know god i yeah. don't i'm not even sure that but that song is more than worth a music video for sure 100 yeah. percent. the one. height of that song is so good but okay so but they have a habit of not doing music videos for songs that we want like mana <laughs> sorry i'm just gonna say that that's true man <laughs> but um so they just basically show what showed up in your um algorithm right so that's I'm, just i'm how pretty you sure i'm pretty sure yeah that's how i uh, oh. first heard of them it wasn't like somebody right. told me told me about it or anything i just kind of stumbled on it and well, that's, uh, the same for me. Awesome. Awesome. that's good okay. algorithm right. for the win jay so this question is a spicy question. Do you think reactors are only stealing views from the artists that they are reacting to? What's your take on this? I do not, and I don't hear that very often. I feel like it's more of an avenue where an artist might right. may, may not be heard, but because people that watch a lot of stuff that I do on this channel or what you guys do on your channel might hear of an artist just because they're a fan of you. And they might not have, have heard that artist if of, if not because of you. So right. if anything, we're we're trying to get more people involved in the party that we're already partying at. You know what I mean? Right. I love right. that. I love that. I love that answer that. right That's there. Oh, you. Yeah. There are this misconception that happens. Uh there are people yeah. who don't really watch reactors because they think that reactors are just stealing views. But yeah, I love your perspective. Back. Yeah, thank you so much for for saying that, and that's my my opinion is exactly the same. So same, yeah, we're helping we promote more than, everyone that we're reacting to, you know. Yeah, we're helping more than than um, harming, and we're not even earning from reactions because um, all the copyright Thanks. goes to SB19 themselves, the label, right? Yeah. So it's a win win, basically. All right. Next question is: What's your favorite? S Bennington reaction ever. You've done 120 plus. Which one stands out to you? That's a lot. That I've done yeah. before? Yeah, that you've done. Uh, yeah. My favorite one was probably the one where I was in uh at Christmas time every year. We go to this place called Big Bear, which is like 45, 50 minutes oh, away. Oh, like I know I've heard of Big Bear, like, yeah. It's like a really high elevation place in California where it snows. We get a cabin and yeah. usually we're like snowed into the cabin for a couple of days. Um, it's, I, heard, it's awesome. I, heard, I heard Jake Paul trains there sometimes. That's why I've heard of Big Bear. Maybe because of the elevation, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah th that that one was fun because um, it was, I think the AAA performance had just come out like a couple of weeks prior. And oh, right. uh, I, I showed a bunch of buddies that were staying at the cabin with me. We all did like our, it's rare when I get other people to like join in with me and none of them had ever heard. Yeah. That one, none of them oh, had right. ever heard SB 19 before and they thought it was awesome. That's so awesome. That, one, nice. that, one was fun. that is so cool. Yeah. It must be very proud of SB19, dancing and you know? busting it out <laughs> at one point. Nice. All right. This is so nice to see, you know, you're spreading the love, you know, That's spreading so awesome. SB19. Spreading SB19 really... to friends and family. I love I love when people do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for doing that, man. Okay, so that's your most favorite SB19 reaction ever. Well, what a great choice of video as well 100%. to show. I mean, they did great on that performance. They smashed that performance. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, Jay, can you ask this? So, if you got the opportunity to make a rock song with SB19, because you know that you made a lot of rock songs in the past. What is the song and what's the title? God, that's a hard one. <laughs> I can tell you this. It would have it would have Canon Pablo on guitar for sure. Ooh. 
Okay, um, that'd be amazing. I think it'd be kind of cool to have something that's that's heavy, but then still kind of has like the wild tonight like hook where uh, kind of oh, like that, like dancing. I have no idea what the title would be though, but uh, I don't know what the title would be. But, That's okay. Well, what, but, but what, does, what is the song about? Is it a love song or maybe a revenge song or anything? Uh, a feel good song, maybe? It's a shit talking song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song or a party song <laughs> about everything going wrong in a day, but then some for some reason one thing goes right and it makes all the bad things seem really small. About oh, that. I love that. That one, yeah. that one good thing was more important than the rest. Giving me ideas. Oh, yeah. man. I, that's pretty deep. I like that it so deep. much. <laughs> All right. So good. Cool. Thank you for answering that. That's a really cool answer right there. 100%. Oh. All right. Okay. Next question is If SB19 are watching now, what is your message for them? I mean, they, they watch these shows from time to time. So, yeah, they're yeah, in the night. I, I, I would, would ask them. Three questions. First question would be, who do I need to talk to to get a short interview with you fellas? <laughs> second, second question uh, is, how much longer till we get Stell's official first single? Oh, third song. Third question would be something I brought up earlier. How much longer we got to wait till the Crimson music video drops? Because you know we're waiting. All right. So those are my, right. First, my first three out of out of 100 questions. All right. Oh, cool. more of questions okay. rather than a message. <laughs> yeah, but any message exactly. at all you want? Anything you want to tell me? <laughs> other than other than those questions? Uh, come back to California, so I can catch the show. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. So simple. Okay. Straight to the point. <laughs> I love Straight it. Straight to the point. Absolutely. Okay, so we have arrived to our main event of the main evening. event. All right, so we are focused on introducing SB19 to BG right here. So um, I have decided, we have decided to have him watch the first episode of SB19 Story. It's a 10-minute video. Okay. So um, so that um, BG has a little bit of an idea. Maybe it's also uh, a kickoff if he wants to continue the series and react to it yeah. on his channel himself, which is very, I think it's very requested by people. So 100%. let's get into this, guys. Okay. Some of my most successful reactions are these. SP19 story reactions. Really? Right. Yeah, a lot of people love it when people dive deeper into into you know SP19 as a character and their story. So, and and they're very inspirational people. So, okay, let's go. All right, just take that off. Let's go. Original peepop days. This is called Triple a group of talented performers and comedians from Korea you've probably never heard of. Okay, they were formed back in 1994 when the word K-pop hasn't even been invented. In 2002, one of the members made the biggest mistake of his life, which will change the entire course of P-pop history. Can I just say, Chuck, man, you like to make things very mo very like dramatic when, when you do commentary. Do you I love this it. Song? <laughs> <laughs> it all started with this man, Jong Song Han. When he left the trio in 2002 to become an entrepreneur, Cult Triple became Cult 2. Most of their fans definitely thought that Song Han's decision was a huge mistake because the remaining members started racking up different awards in the entertainment industry. If he only stuck around, he would have gotten those awards too. But this man's decision was final. He used all of his savings to build an event organizing company called Show BT Entertainment. Yep, I'm talking about Tatang Robin. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Tatang noticed how passionate Filipino fans were during the rise of K-pop so he wanted to organize K-pop concerts and events that promote Korean and Filipino culture. To make that happen, he needed entertainers. A group of young people that would be part of the package of their service as an event organizer. We are talking about people who can do dancing, singing, and even act as servants like waiting tables and assisting guests. So he held an audition and hundreds of young talents applied. 
Thirty of them passed Chocolate as trainees. Too, just kidding. <laughs> they were then called <laughs> Nara, which in Korean means country and is the national tree of the Philippines. They went to multiple events together, including the fan meeting event of the K-pop group called Off Road. I can find, find, find After numerous events, Takang Robin saw something special. Yeah, same here. I haven't really heard much about yeah. Off Road, but I think it's one of their um, K pop groups before uh, SB19. So, yeah. Special when it comes to Filipino talent. He realized that some of his trainees were far too talented to just end up as small time performers. So, he decided to launch the first P pop boy group that underwent strict Korean type training. Out of the 30 trainees, only few have made it. Let's go. Jan Paolo Nase. He always wanted to be a performer. As a young Jan dreamer, Pablo. he joined several competitions as a soloist and also a member of the K pop dance cover group called PHP. As a trainee, he was the guy who shows up early and leaves late despite juggling a full time job as a data analyst to provide for his family. He was the first one selected due to his undeniable diligence and leadership qualities. He is known to have critically acclaimed songwriting ability, a badass rapper, and was often dubbed as a genius, but he consistently denied it because he claimed to be just a hard worker. This made him the destined leader of the group. Yeah, is the he debuted king, with the name Sejin, but yeah. later changed his name to Pablo. Now that the methodical leader is chosen, they needed more members. Tatang Robin just got a genius composer in Pablo, so they needed someone who can dance. And this next guy Time is exactly done. that. And even more. Oh, it's your boy! It's your boy, Stel. Stel! Stelvester Ahero. And not Sylvester. He was only 16 when he started competing as a dancer while studying. That's he was man. a born winner despite growing up as a bullied kid. He made performing his escape from That's the harsh that. reality of the world. He did a great job channeling the negative aspect of his life and converting it by winning multiple K-pop dance cover competitions with his group, Sayon. He is also a hard worker. He was teaching dance to kids while competing. There was a point when he worked too hard that it threatened his life due to poor health. Mm. He is a very skilled choreographer. In fact, he's the main culprit behind most of SB19's snappy and amazingly synchronized dance routines. But little did they know that dancing even wasn't his even leg. his only talent. He easily became the main heavenly voice of the group because his vocals were just on your side. out of this world. <laughs> he debuted as Snell, the main vocalist, the lead dancer, and choreographer of the group. Josh Cullen Santos became homeless at the age of 16 and it was his decision. He's had the worst childhood among the other members. From growing up in a toxic environment to being physically abused as a kid by their nanny. At an early age, he witnessed what it feels like to be a member of a middle class family that went rock bottom in just a matter of months. He experienced getting evicted from apartments to smaller rooms. It came to a That's point where his family had nothing to eat but ketchup and salt. They had wow. no permanent address. Because of that, Josh and his sister dropped out of school multiple times, so they got bullied at school for being repeaters. Sometimes he would get into fistfights for defending her. Josh had enough of this, so he took matters into his own That's hands respect. by leaving. He became independent and started working as an internet cafe attendant. Using his own income, he took the alternative learning system and was able to finish his high school degree. He clearly had no background in performing. <laughs> Not until he met new friends from the dance community, which led to him meeting Stell and Seyon. Oh. They became co members and went on to win numerous K pop dance cover competitions all over Asia. They even met BTS during one of their winning runs in That's Korea. Crazy. Oh, wow. Anyway, Josh yeah. was saved by yeah, Stell after trying so hard to save himself. And it paid off because after training, Josh training ended up days. debuting as the lead rapper and dancer of the group. That's good, my boy. Justin DeJoss didn't have Shot to audition. Boy. Apparently, he was a very good looking guy that when he joined a talent workshop as a teenager, Show BT immediately took notice and offered him to become a trainee to improve his singing and dancing skills. 
He was one of the late joiners, and when he did, he immediately saw a familiar face in Josh. You look familiar. Apparently, the two had a stint in performing <laughs> together in a K-pop <laughs> dance cover group called Zero to Hero. Hey, welcome to my world. Let's do this. There he is. Youngest and oldest member. So Justin as well wasn't new in the world of performing. He auditioned to be a part of the televised Pinoy boy band Superstar show, but he didn't even make it to the live audition. Thank God for that. Perhaps it was fate. They Thank didn't God. have great singing skills at the time. It was only when he became this a trainee is a, this that he is a really well done video, dude. I'm finding out so much stuff I did not know. Yeah, and there's, there's, five five that. there's five more of them too. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. He also has a, a lot of ones where, like, um, you know, what you don't understand about Josh and Ken, like, he, and he goes even further on them, but there's a lot of information there. Yeah, appreciate that. I try. I mean, um, yeah, it's been, they've been through a lot, and they are just an inspiration that people need to see in order for, you know, I mean, it's, it's something that you can be inspired of, that, you know, they're a living testament that, you know, despite all the odds, yeah. uh, if you're against the all, all the odds, you can still make it. You know, you just Absolutely. need to work hard. So, I'm yeah. still surprised how you get all this information, man. Like, Jesus, do you like hit him up on the low? Hey, yo, Pablo, uh, what happened? Like, no. you know, in your life? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, these information are all available in public. Just put them together. So, yeah, oh, man. Right. if you look, okay. you will find. It. So, yeah. <laughs> Astoundingly, in the vocal department, he went on to finish his college degree in multimedia arts while training, which earned him a skill in filmmaking. He then got selected to debut as the main visual, Eric the sub-vocalist, and the creative director of the group. Long he was is. the would-be director behind the record-breaking P-pop music video, What? And more. But that's a story for another video. <laughs> At this Daddy point, Shobi T seemed to have completed the group. Four members in a P-pop group, a nice even number. Two rappers and two vocalists. They were perfectly balanced, but they felt like something was missing. Perhaps someone was missing. Someone who could take this already great group of guys and push them to achieve the next level. The can. extraordinary level. Someone so naturally gifted that he could stand out in the presence of the already talented group of young artists. Someone this venture that so Takang Robin took needed an apex. So he started the online auditions. When Josh heard about it, he was like, I know a guy. Philip John Susan is such a specimen. He was so naturally gifted that excelling in sports looked like a walk in the park for him. He grew up in the church under the care of his grandparents. He was an artistic kid, so he was active as an editorial cartoonist in school. Nobody taught him to play musical instruments. He taught himself by just listening to the music, so he ended up becoming a southpaw guitarist. But he later fixed it as he learned more. All right, someone just reminded me on the uh, on on the chat here. Um, Stale is actually performing in Pachanga Casino venue in California as a guest for another Filipino artist, Eric Santos. I don't know See, when. Oh, wow. is. Pachanga is like forty five minutes away. Oh, oh shit. shit! Yeah, you when, should be when, there. When, right? when is that? When is that? When is that happening? MLM. Let us know. I, I think it's soon. Um, you should go and vlog it, man. That'd be sick. Yeah, it'll be sick. Meeting still there. Oh, man. That's going to be sick, crazy. June 23. Ah, it's still kind of far, but yeah. yeah. Check your All schedule, right. bro. <laughs> June 23 still on the channel. Uh, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. I don't have anything written down. It's possible. All right. Well, let's get awesome. it, man. He didn't even know that he could dance until he was forced to in order to get good grades during their school interims. After discovering dance, he transformed from a guy who didn't know it to someone who can fly. Because of his raw talent, he ended up teaching dance to the entire school and continued on to form a K-pop dance cover group called Amigo 7. Apparently, Amigo? his group gave Josh's group so much trouble during their early competitions because they were very good rivals. So he decided to recruit him. But Philip was hundreds of islands away and didn't have the money. What did Josh do? He shelled out for his plane ticket. With nothing wow. else to lose, Philip went and left his previous life in the countryside. He then trained with the boys and officially debuted with them as Ken, the main dancer, the bass vocalist, and the lead rapper of the group. One thing to note is that they were an unlikely bunch because they wouldn't have met each other if Tatang Robin stayed with his already successful group in Korea. 
Justin failed his first audition so he didn't even bother to audition again because he thought he wasn't ready. And Josh wouldn't have attempted to recruit Ken if Show BT's training program didn't even exist. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the butterfly effect. When a small and seemingly insignificant occurrence has a rippling effect through time leading to a consequential event sometime long after the initial okay. event, or as Google would put it, a phenomenon whereby a minute localized change in a complex system can have a large effect elsewhere. That's Tatang good. Robin's so-called mistake back in 2002 led to forming the future Peepop Kings. In 2018, SB19 was and Ken formed. Has a butterfly the name of the group was carefully well. picked. Yeah. The number 19 is the sum of Korea and the Philippines area code digits 82 and 63. So 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 is 19. 19. SB doesn't only mean show BT. It is all about their ultimate goal for Pinoy Sound to break into the music industry, which is fearlessly represented Sound by break. this praise. Sound break. All right, so that was it. <laughs> well done. What are your thoughts on episode one, BG? No, that was really cool. I'm, I'm very much smarter. I have more more knowledge now about, about the fellas because of that. All right. I appreciate awesome. that you appreciate them. Um, thank you for letting us have you. Um, so, you the um, hour mark? yeah, we just hit the hour mark right here. And um, thank you for letting us have you, man. Um, thank you for sharing a little bit of your life and how awesome you are. Like, damn, you did some amazing things and still are Perfect. doing some amazing things to this day, spreading good music all over the world, giving chance to uh, hidden gems that are just waiting to be 100%. found all over the world. Right. So, Yo, if you want to check out local band Smoke Out, I have his link on the title, on the description of this video. You better subscribe, you guys. If not, I will punch you as normal. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves all, all the support. Support you all guys. 300 of you that just joined, by the way. 300 in the chat. Let's get Thank some noise. Guys. That's awesome. I, I, I appreciate you guys inviting me to be on here. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I even though it's late, I'm not tired at all. It was it was good vibes the entire time. Uh, Chuck, that, man. well done on the video, Jay. I gotta look up some of your tunes, bro. Check out yeah. his low. That's <laughs> and uh, the tracks coming soon. You said you said one drops in in next week. You said no. I got one yeah. dropping tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Jeez, That's awesome. let's get it. Then. That's a spoil. <laughs> They're not supposed to. Know. You guys heard nothing. It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> 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 fake, fake faces remix fake faces remix <laughs> <laughs> all right rap, that's rap, something uh, rap version. <clears throat> anyway um, anything uh, else you got going on uh bg like you have a twitch right yeah so um actually what i do on the youtube channel is greatly affected by what we do on, on the twitch show so i'm on twitch again monday through friday uh it's, it's a three-hour show every time we're on uh, it starts at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time, 7.20 Eastern in the States. And it's an any genre request show. You could, If you have artists and bands that you're friends with, even if they're a small garage band, they just need some exposure, come by the Twitch show, uh, drop a link so we can jam them. And if we're really feeling it, uh, like chat will be like, oh, you know, yay, yay, this one's, this one's dope. We add it to like a list. And we do what we do daily voting. And uh, we take two or three of those artists every day until we get 32. And we put them in a giant tournament, and that tournament oh, could shit. be rappers, DJs, oh, that is uh, so cool, uh, metal bands, P pop artists, anything. And actually, Philippe is in the next one, which is going to be towards the end of the month. I think it's the oh. first time we've had an SB19 member or the band in one of these tournaments. But it's that a lot of fun. Cool. Um, so, like all all the bands that are in it, like the smaller bands, uh, they'll bring the, all their fans to be able to vote for them because we do the whole thing in one sitting. But what happens is. Let's just say, uh, you know, like a metal band from California, that they, their fans are in there. Their fans have no idea who the 31 other artists are from like all over the world. And they end up falling in love with like two or three of these bands and they follow them and they support them and they tell their Damn. friends about them. So like literally everybody wins. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's love. Oh, that's right. respect wow, right there. That is amazing right there. That's doing we some give away a lot of a lot of goodies too. A lot of a lot of free merch. We mail out stuff all the time. So uh, please come hang. All I'm right. a <laughs> I'm Let's, go. Let's go. Cool. 
<laughs> okay, well then, guys, uh, it's been a, a blast. Um, it's been so entertaining. Thank 100%. you for letting us have you again, uh, BG. We will not take uh, you guys' time. Also, subscribe to Jay Wyatt too, guys, doing Appreciate some great that. things as well. So, yeah. All right, guys. Bye bye. Have a yeah, great day. Peace. Cheers. Peace. Have a good one. Thanks again. Mahal ko kyo. Kapag nakapaglaban kami, babagsak ang ekonomiya. Paano namin mapapakain ang aming mga pamilya? Negosyo o kalayaan? Bayan o sarili, pumili ka! Wired on the mic and then Chucky on the beat It's fire and we fight anybody with the heat Killing in these streets, ain't nobody want this beef Are we clashing on the mic? Do not tell me we are weak Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Kesho Chuck I feel annoyed from the start My stories, they can spark and destroy what you lack You annoyed, you attract with your boy Ain't nobody gonna track me and JY and make some noise Hit him with the culture, ain't nobody here a vulture Bringing people joy, we ain't here to insult you We a soldier in the game, you will never be the same And my whole cock, they all feel a pride all the way To the sun and the three stars Nigga lang ang pala, all we need are some sick bars learning from the foreign on love and some battle scars life's full of twists like a wheel of a fast car of a fast car this is history it's like a dome at the guy we're here to have fun spreading music from afar we all laugh and we spark it's all love from the heart filipino with the bars i mean high to the stars we get drums and the bass and the voice and guitar while i'm beef while i'm case while i'm drugs so cigar are you mad are you sad we are cure just loving all the culture we go flashing that for sure